Hi Leo, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross watching, the energies could be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Those of you that are looking for the singles reading, you can find the timestamp for the singles reading in the description box below. Also, thank you guys so much for hitting the like button as it does help support my channel. The person that Leo is thinking about, what are the messages? The person that Leo is thinking about, okay? Well, they're thinking about you. You're on a break from this person or, you know, you two have taken a step back here. Spirit, clarify that Four of Swords. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Two of Cups. This person thinks a lot about you. I'm getting like, this is mutual. You both think a lot about each other. You both like each other. It's almost like you two have kind of taken a step back to reassess your feelings for the situation. It feels like you two are thinking about the next steps in this connection. There could also be, you know, specifically I'm getting, you could, if you are actually in a relationship with this person right now, I feel like there might be a vacation coming in for you two or one that is needed. Now, others of you, this is definitely a break from each other, but you could just need a break from your day-to-day -day routine is what I'm getting. So only take what resonates, but I am getting like a break from each other. Okay. Death card. So transformation taking place in this connection. I'm getting like separately, you two are going through some changes. Scorpio energy. Now, Leo, for some of you guys, you're both mutually thinking about the ending here. Is the main message I am getting. But I am seeing multiple stories but the main message I'm getting you and this other person are thinking about how things ended you see them as the magician you see them as a smooth talker okay this person could you know manipulate you and you know that you feel the full It's like an energy of you may feel naive to somebody's tactics or somebody's antics. This person made you feel naive or clueless or, you know, you're under the impression that somebody manipulated your, took advantage of you, right, is what I'm getting. Two of pentacles. You know, if somebody wasn't prioritizing you, they could be juggling, okay? They may have been juggling you and someone else here, but I'm just getting like, this person really made you feel naive and taken advantage of, guys. How do they see Leo? Ace of Wands. They're very attracted to you. We have Virgo energy, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius. Could be Gemini as well. Cancer Pisces. We also have Earth here. Let's see, they fill the Seven of Cups. So this is somebody that wants to pick you, guys. They wanna choose you. But I feel like there was some deception here, guys. Uh, you know, the moon at the bottom of the deck, there was definitely some deception. You know, 
Two of Pentacles. You, you're feeling taken advantage of. Like this person didn't prioritize you. They were juggling you. You know, uh, they're telling me they had some other choices. They did. You thought they did, and they did. They did have other choices, but now they're wanting to choose you. Queen of Cups. You know, this person is making this decision based off of how emotional they are right now. I just want you to know that. So it's like, yeah, in the present moment, they're telling me that they are choosing you, but there's also some, some confusion there. Okay. They're feeling very confused and, you know, the queen of cups, she doesn't always, um, She doesn't always think things through is what I'm getting. Like the shadow side of this energy. Like I do feel like this person is wanting to spring into action without having a solid plan put behind this choice. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So what do they want from Leo? A fresh start. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning. And it's because they're emotional. They could see you, you know, the Ace of Wands for how they see you. They could see you as starting fresh in something or starting over. Um, and they're wanting to be a part of that. I'm getting like this person is, uh, they, they want to reach out. Okay, because they're very restless. They want to come out of this restless energy. Like someone here is like really wanting to take action, but like they're having a hard time fighting it back, fighting back. But there's also an energy here of this person is really worried about how you will perceive them. What do they like about Leo? Five of Swords. They like the games. This is somebody that likes games. They like the games you two played or the game that was played. So you mean to tell me so it's, you're coming across as someone who is moving forward with their life. And it's like, now this person is seeing that as a, seeing you as a challenge, Leo. And so it's like, they like that you two have unfinished business because that gives them a window to climb through. <laughs> That's like an opportunity that they think they still have with you. And they think they still have an opportunity with you. Let's see what their next actions are, Leo. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. The strength card. Somebody wants to ruin your security. You, some of you guys might be in a new relationship, guys. Look at this. Their next actions. Somebody might try to come in and ruin something that you have going on. Whether you have it going on now or you will in the future. You're all on different timelines. But be very mindful of past people coming back into your life when you started a new relationship. Because it's almost like that's the driving force. Or, you know, this could be really anything that you've committed yourself to because you're showing signs of like starting over in life. Maybe you guys have a new job or you have some sort of newfound security. And this person is seeing your, your fresh start and they're getting emotional 
And it's like this person really enjoys a good head game. They do. And I would be very mindful of anyone showing back up in your life because their intentions are not good. Their, their intentions are to get what they want from you, which is your attention. But I feel like it could end up getting, it could end up messing something up or they intend to get in the way of whatever you have built for yourself here. Only take what resonates, guys, but I am seeing two different stories. Um, some of you guys may be in a relationship with this person. There's a lot of distance, and it's kind of like you both know it's coming to an end eventually. And so it's like this person sees that you're about to have a new beginning for yourself, and they want to mess that all up for you. Maybe you guys are, you know, starting over in life, or you are... Uh, you have a new job, right? There's some type of jealousy they have towards that. Now, others of you, if you were actually already ended and disconnected from this person, same thing applies. This person sees you as doing well without them, and it bothers them, and they're about to act on these negative emotions because they can't sleep. I don't feel like this person's thinking logically about their actions because they're... They are lacking sleep. And so it's like they've been fighting the urge to reach out, but here it comes. And they're about to act a damn fool. And you know, they can't mess anything up for you. Do you? So it's like, this is not to like scare anybody. It's really, you know, the only, the only way people can mess things up for us is if we allow it. Okay. Um, so you have all the power, um, never give your power away, but I do want to tell you that I would be prepared for somebody from your past. Okay. Somebody that you have history with wanting to get in the way of your stability here, wanting to put an end to that because it's almost an energy of like, you're not, this, this person sees you as you don't need them. And sometimes people do things just out of pure jealousy. What's their hidden truth? I feel you even though we are apart. Um, I just saw I saved your text messages. Um, guys, if somebody comes in to communicate with you, be mindful what you say to this person through text messaging because I feel like they're going to try to use that against you. They admire you. I couldn't let you get close to me person has some real issues guys some real serious issues and if this is resonating with you I would definitely steer clear of this person coming back in I'm sorry it's not a great message but this is to um, warn you that somebody coming back from your past especially if they took advantage of you once that's how you would know this is your message this person was very manipulative they took advantage really, you know, was you're feeling like this person came in and was like, what can I take from Leo and then took it. Be mindful of this person coming back. Could be dealing with another Leo. I have strong Aries and Scorpio. Virgo. I do see Gemini and Aquarius. Could be a water sign. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So, you know, there's definitely a tower moment coming in that involves a past person. And I feel like you have all the control over whether or not this person creates chaos and upheaval in your life. You have all that control. So just take messages that resonate, guys.
going to move on to the singles. Who's coming towards my single Leos? coming towards single Leo. Well, you have two options coming towards you, Leo. Now let's see what's coming in. What's coming in? Some of you guys are going to be traveling. Okay, I do see you going on some type of adventure, but this is like energy of the wo world is your oyster. I feel like you have several options coming towards you, not only in love, but just in life in general. And the ability to explore these options is coming towards you. Could be a Pisces coming in. Somebody likes how enlightened you are, okay? They have a very unique perspective of you versus how other people see you. Um, but again, I do see two people. Now, the two of swords here, you are guarding yourself from love right now, Leo. Temperance in reverse. So it's like... There's a situation coming in and you already feel intuitively that it's going to bring imbalance into your life. And so I feel like you have your guard up and I'm going to tell you that that's a very good idea to do. Um, because it looks like there's situations coming in, uh, choices coming in, and you're indecisive about these choices. I just saw the three of cups. That's an energy of like dates. I see dates, multiple dates coming towards you. Could be a Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces. We have the Three of Swords. Some of you guys, you know, this is an energy of you not wanting to be in a third party. But again, I feel like it's you with the choices, Leo. But it's like you don't want to disappoint other people or hurt other people. Very interesting. The Chariot Cancer energy. So you just remain emotionally distant from all these options. So it looks like you're going to have to reject one of these options, is what I'm getting. But you're indecisive about it, like you don't know who to choose, or who to be around the most, or give a chance to. Four of Pentacles, what these options like about you is how you are held back, how you are a challenge, how you don't open up easily. Specifically getting someone who works in the legal system or works uh, has some type of government job here. I'm also getting a pilot. Somebody here could actually be a pilot or they have their license in that. Um, I'm also getting this person's really into vehicles or one of the options are. Now those are just specific messages, but... It's very interesting. You give off the impression to these options that they don't really have much of a chance with you, which makes them more interested in you. And so I feel like there's someone coming in that wants you to balance out their life, but why temperance in reverse? But I feel like you're just in this energy of wanting to be selfish right now. And I feel like that's okay. So what I'm getting for you singles is um, you're guarded and you have options coming in. And, you know, these options could come out of nowhere. Yeah, look at that. The six of pentacles. So there will be people competing for your attention, okay? Competing to have some type of new beginning with you. Um, I feel like whether or not you tell these other people that you have options, they're already going to be picking up on it. It's like they already, something tells them that you are talking to other people or dealing with other people or other people want your attention. And I see people fighting for your attention here, fighting to have that new beginning with you. Fighting for the chance to build with you. Because you have something incredible that these people, these people find something that you have to offer. Like you have very attractive qualities here. I can 
And I'm just getting like people see you as a good catch. And you know you're a good catch, so that's why you're reserved. And you're determined to find the right person to open up to. So really your message is keep doing whatever it is you're doing. I feel like your thought process is on point and that you should be trusting your intuition right now. But just know there will be people coming in really almost like desperately wanting you to see them a certain way. And the three of wands, just make sure you do explore your options, okay? And have fun with it. So I'm, I'm seeing multiple choices for you. Could be uh, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right. We're going to move on to the all signs. Cross watchers. So if you are dealing with one of these signs. Could you Aries through Pisces? Only take what resonates. And how you'll know it resonates is you'll feel it in your bones. You, know, you will feel it to your core. All right, Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries is very interested in you. They want a fresh start. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is upset over the situation. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini is giving you the silent treatment. I feel like this Gemini is also secretive, but they're you're not speaking with this Gemini, but they want to speak to you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they have romantic feelings for you. If you are dealing with a Leo, another Leo, ooh, they want to communicate. Yeah, Knight of Swords, the Magician, this person's trying to manifest you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is upset. They're disappointed that they have to walk away. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra wants to commit. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio really likes you. Uh, they want to offer you communication. There's some type of heartfelt message coming towards you. Okay. Um, that was Scorpio, right? We have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Okay, Scorpio. Uh, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this Sagittarius is going through a tower moment. What is that about? Three of Cups could involve a third party. Um, I feel like the Sagittarius, it was a disaster. I feel like you dodged a bullet with this Sagittarius, okay? They still watch you, though. But they're really going through it right now behind the scenes. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn's hung up on you. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius is focused on work. If you're dealing with a Pisces, ooh, this Pisces really, really wants you. The lovers, this Pisces feels a very strong magnetic connection that surpasses all logic. They just want to be with you. That's all they know. All right, Leo, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.